Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my current red light routine, as well as show you some current pictures of my 56 year old face and neck, just to show you what red light has been doing for me after being a consistent red light user for the past a little over three years now. Now before I share with you my routine, just to give you a starting point, I'm going to put a picture up over here that I took of my neck. And this picture here has gotten a lot of flack in um, several of my red light videos because I use this as my before picture. And when I put up an after picture, obviously the lighting is very different and people have mentioned that, you know, of course this picture looks horrible. It's in horrible lighting. You are trying to make your neck look worse. And I wanted to give you the backstory on this picture. This picture right here, I took solely for myself the day that I was starting to do my red light treatments. And when I took this picture, I had no idea I would be starting a YouTube channel and sharing my red light experience with anyone. I just really wanted to have a picture so I could see if this red light was doing anything for me. And I only snapped a picture of my neck because although my face is obviously aging too, it was my neck that I felt looked so much older than my face and that was really the area of concern. So I snapped this picture of my neck and then started my red light treatments. And no, I was not trying to make my neck look worse in this picture. Believe me, I did not try to make it look worse. I really just wanted to see what this red light could do for me. After three years of red light, it is still my favorite modality for anti-aging that you can do at home because one, it truly works. And two, it is so easy. You need to do nothing other than sit in front of a panel or put a mask on and just sit and relax for a few minutes. And if you are consistent, you will definitely see results. I know that I have. All right, so now let me share with you what I have been doing for my current routine that I feel at this point in my red light journey, if you will, is helping me to just maintain the results that I got. When I showed you that picture of my neck, that first picture that I took, I took day one, starting my red light treatments, I saw the most benefit in my skin in that first six months of use. And having those wonderful results, especially as far as my aging neck is concerned, I am now, I feel, to the point where Honestly, at 56, I, I'm getting older like you are every single day, and I'm not really expecting that I am going to continue to see dramatic increases in results. I think there's only so much that red light can do. I think it's done a lot for me, but at this point in my red light routines, I am looking to just maintain the results that I have. That's the very best thing I could do, or at very least just slow down the aging process a little bit. So with my routine recently, I am only treating myself with red light about three to four times a week, and I find with just that amount of treatments, I am maintaining my results. All right, so this Mesama panel was gifted to me about six months ago, and I have to tell you, this is the device that I have been wanting to use every single day. This is what I have been using. And because of my red light videos on YouTube, I've been very lucky having many different red light companies send me their red lights to try and use. I'm very I lucky in that. And I have to say though that this is the one that I have been using consistently for the last six months. All right, so this is what I have been doing for my red light routines as of lately. I will wash my face in the mornings and then I will go ahead and spritz on. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. This is a really hydrating water-based toner that I will just mist over my face and neck because I have extremely dry skin. 
I will let this soak in for a minute or two, and then I go ahead and I apply the Mesama Green Rooibos Press Serum to my face and neck. Now, this is a repeat purchase of mine since I have started using this a couple of years ago. There was a small study done with this serum and Mito Red Light where it showed that you will get better improvements using this serum with your red light. I have noticed personally that having rosacea, this serum has done amazing job in reducing the redness of my skin. I will always have a little bit of a baseline rosiness on my cheeks. I think that's just the way that I'm built, but it is much better using this serum in my routine for the past couple of years. The redness has really subsided, so I've definitely noticed an improvement in using this serum with my red light treatments. So after I have let those products soak in for just a minute or two, I will sit in front of this panel and I will do a three minute treatment treating myself with red light and near infrared light. It's a continuous red light treatment for three minutes. And what is new with this is that I have been doing that without goggles. Now the reason that I have been treating myself without goggles for that three minute treatment is that last year I tried the Current Body LED face mask that I used exclusively for three months. And at the end of three months of using that, I was shocked at the improvement that I saw on the skin of my eyelids. Now prior to that, my eyelids had never seen red light because I used to use my Mito 300 panel. And with that panel, I always had to use the protective eye goggles because it was just way too bright for me with my very sensitive eyes. I could never do a treatment without goggles using my Mito Pro panel. But when I used the current body for three months and I feel like the red light was able to kind of sneak in through the eye holes of that mask and really make a difference on my eyelid skin, it made me want to be able to do treatments without the eye goggles. This Mesama panel on the regular, not the pulse light setting, I can comfortably treat myself without goggles. Now, I that is my decision to do the treatments without goggles. There seems to be some debate with the safety of treating with red light, not wearing protective eyewear, so I would encourage you to do your own research and find out what would work for you, but I am comfortable in doing a three minute continuous red light treatment without the goggles, just so I continue to get that red light on my eyelid skin where I saw such great benefits. So after the three minute continuous red light treatment, I will then go ahead and I will put on my protective goggles and I am still folding up the little cotton pads that I stick inside the goggles just to prevent those marks that you get around your eyes, the raccoon look. That's why I put the folded up cotton pads inside my goggles. It, it just, just keeps from getting that mark around my eyes. So I will go ahead and I'll put the protective goggles on and then I will sit down and I will do a three minute pulsed red light treatment with the panel. Now just a really quick backstory on the benefit of pulse light. Two of the main benefits are that pulsed red light treatments really mitigate the buildup of free radicals when you are doing red light treatments, which I think is a great thing. But personally, what I have noticed on my skin since doing pulsed red light treatments for the past six months, pulsed red light treatments allow for better efficacy of water-based serums and toners that are applied for a red light treatment. Now, I will put up a little diagram that shows how pulsed red light onto a skin cell almost allows it to expand and contract, and when it contracts, it soaks up all of those water-based ingredients that are directly surrounding it. Now, 
since adding this moisture surge spray to my pulsed red light treatments i will tell you i have noticed a big improvement in my very dry skin this winter i feel the fact that during a pulse light treatment where these hydrating ingredients are really getting absorbed into my skin cells I am feeling a difference in my really dry skin. So I love the benefit of a moisturizing toner with a pulsed red light treatment. So that is my really simple red light routine. It is taking me six minutes now, three to four times a week, and I am maintaining the results that I got a little over three years ago when I first started using red light. All right, so now I'm gonna put up on the screen just some pictures to show you the current state of my 56-year-old bare skin. And the first one here is just a picture of the full frontal of my face. Just, and this is a bare skin picture, but I feel like at 56, I'm really happy with how my skin on my face is aging. And I know a lot of that is because of red light. All right, so now I'm gonna put up the pictures of my neck, and I'm gonna put the picture that I just took this morning of my neck next to that very first picture that I took on my day one of treating with red light, but now you will understand, yes, the lighting differences, but obviously you can see the huge results that red light has given me. Now the next pictures I wanted to put up of my neck, this is my after picture that I took a year ago when I did my last update video. And again, the after picture is the picture I just took this morning. And I think you can see that I am maintaining my results. And I'm happy to see when I looked at these pictures side by side, I feel like I am maintaining my results. So I couldn't be happier. Now I also think it's important to disclose to you that along with red light now, I am using other skincare devices, microcurrent and radio frequency, and I've got a really good skincare routine but I can confidently share these pictures with you in this red light video because I know that with the first six months of using red light, that was the only device that I was using and a very basic skincare routine. And that is where I saw the most improvement in my neck. All right, friends, so that is it. I wanted to share with you my latest red light routine and my latest pictures on how my skin is doing. And I really appreciate you all being here and taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.